God was growing the church and adding new leaders every day. Two of those new leaders were a pair named Paul and Silas. And when our story picks up, they were in jail. They had been lied about and whipped, and things looked pretty bad. Their jailer had even been commanded to watch them extra close to make sure they didn't escape. One night, at about midnight, even though they were locked up and things looked rough, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as all the other prisoners listened. Suddenly, there was a powerful earthquake, shaking the prison from top to bottom. The doors flew open, the chains flew off the prisoners. Jailer took out his sword to end his life, fearing that all the prisoners had escaped. Paul heard him and shouted out, Don't harm yourself! Nobody's left! We're all still here! The jailer rushed in and fell down in front of Paul and Silas. I can't ignore what I've seen, he said. What must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and all his family. The jailer took Paul and Silas and washed their wounds. And that very hour, he and everyone in his family were baptized. Jails come in all shapes and sizes, and not one of them can keep out the power of God or the work of his disciples, the church. The church, in a wide variety of ways, sets the prisoner free.